Here I have some hydrogen fuel cell and today I want to test if I can run this cell with some aluminium. So like I said, today I want to test if I can run this hydrogen fuel cell with some aluminium. Because the aluminium will provide me with the necessary hydrogen for this cell. And this hydrogen fuel cell which I have here have the voltage output of 0.9 volts and the voltage on the load is from 0.7 to 0.6 volts. And the maximum current output of this cell is around 1 amp. And the construction of this hydrogen fuel cell is really really similar to the construction of some supercapacitor. Because the positive and the negative electrode are made mostly from the same material. So here we have some current collectors which are placed on each side of the cell. And the active material which is used in this hydrogen fuel cell is some platinum coated carbon based material, which is also on positive and on the negative side of the cell. And these two electrodes are separated by some polymer electrolyte membrane. And the platinum in this cell is some catalyst which split the hydrogen into the positive hydrogen ions and some negatively charged electrons. And here this side is for the hydrogen and this side is for the oxygen. And you can see that here this oxygen side have many 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 holes. This is because this cell get the oxygen from the environment. Which means that my only job is to pump some hydrogen into this side of the cell. And this I will do with some aluminium and potassium hydroxide solution. Of course I can use other metals like zinc or iron, but in case that I will use some iron, then instead of potassium hydroxide, I need to use some hydrochloric acid. But like I said, today I want to test this hydrogen fuel cell with some hydrogen which is produced with a reaction of potassium hydroxide and aluminium because it's easy and I have all the materials on hand. And now I will put everything together. Here I have my hydrogen fuel cell. I will also need some glass jar like this one with the 3D printed lid with a hole, some pipe, aluminium for the fuel, here I also have these two mole of potassium hydroxide solution and for the last I will also use this activated carbon felt. This activated carbon felt will act like filter and first I will connect this pipe to the hydrogen side of the cell. Like so. And this side I will put into this lid. Then this lid I will fill, I mean the inside of this lid I will fill with this activated carbon felt. This is because the reaction between the potassium hydroxide and aluminium will not only produce hydrogen but will also create some water vapor. Actually the water vapor will not harm uh, this fuel cell but anyway I don't want to have too much of water vapor. Okay. Before I will start with this reaction, I will measure the voltage of the cell. And I get zero volts. Now I will fill this glass jar with the electrolyte and I will use 6 milliliters of this potassium hydroxide solution and 
and the weight of this aluminium will be 0 0.87 grams. So when I put aluminium into this potassium hydroxide solution, the reaction starts immediately. And if you want to have some faster reaction, then you need to use smaller piece of aluminium or higher concentration of potassium hydroxide. Or the opposite, if you want to have some slower reaction, then you will use a little bit larger piece of aluminium or lower concentration of potassium hydroxide. Here I use 2 mol of potassium hydroxide and 0 0.8 gram of uh, aluminium. But I will also add a little bit of this aluminium foil because this aluminium foil is really thin. For this reason I will get some boost of the reaction. and I get 0.9 volts. Let's see what will be the current. And I get 1 amp. Again, 0.1 volts, but if I take off the lead, then the voltage will drop. Really nice. Now I will connect this LED, which is uh, put it out from some solar, uh, guard the solar uh, lamp. So the oxygen side is the positive, the hydrogen side is the negative. Now I need to wait a little bit that this compartment will be filled with the hydrogen. And the LED 
brush again. So definitely I will make some update on this system, but so far that's it and yeah, we see us in the next video.